Hey guys, today I want to talk about a post you can see here. And essentially the post is by Mark Rosewater and it says that there will be no fetch lands in Tears in Fears, which is the block after, it's the set slash the two block set after Oath of the Gate Watts. And this is a very important thing to note because we're not gonna get enemy fetch lands anytime soon unless it's from a commander deck, which is unlikely, unless it's from a supplemental deck or as a promo, you're not gonna get the enemy fetch lands. Enemy fetch lands, especially the blue red one, is relevant in the decks. So it is very disappointing in my opinion that we are not going to get them reprinted within you know a time span, or at least it doesn't seem that way to me. Uh, if you believe that I'm misreading this incorrectly or there's another way to interpret it, Mark Rosewater has been known. Uh, he said that there would be no fetch lands in the current set that we're at, the battle for Zendikar, but then they turned out to be expeditions and then it was kind of like a fetch land, but not really. So he's been known to make announcements which taken on the face are true, but then something makes it untrue. So how, what do you guys think about this comment? Do you think it's good for the game? Do you think it's bad for the game? What are your opinions about us not getting fetch lands or enemy fetch lands? Especially, in my opinion, the blue-red one is kind of important uh, for the Splinter Twin decks or for a lot of the decks in Standard who want the most optimized, not Standard, a lot of the decks in Modern that want the most optimized mana base need the Tarns over perhaps, you know, a marsh flat or something like that. Not to say those decks are played less, uh, just that those decks are maybe not tier one like Splinter Twin is. So what do you guys um, believe was gonna happen? Do you feel like it will be in a supplemental set? Do you feel like it will be in a, you know, in a different promo version? Maybe a, a, a you know, a, I don't know what type. There's tons of promos, a holiday promo? <laughs> Probably not, but we can only hope. So I do feel like it does increase the price of the enemy fetch lands. Um, I don't know how significantly, but assuming that there's none for another year, another eight months, and it's safe, well not even another eight months, because we have the Oath, and then we have Tears and Fears. So we have, if, you know, we have about a year before the enemy fetch lands can be reprinted, Again, maybe they'll be reprinted in Modern Masters 2016, but that's the only area I can feel, that's the only supplemental set I feel has any chance of reprinting that particular, reprinting that cycle, because I don't expect it just to be one of them. I don't know, I, I don't like it. I feel like, I know it does mess with standard a little bit and gives people the ability to pay, play four colors or five colors, but it does help modern a tremendous amount if they were reprinted today or they were announced that there was gonna be a reprint. Even the announcement alone could, you know, stagnate the prices. I don't know, it really, it all kind of depends on how, if modern heats up again, and this is what my main concern would be, if modern explodes again in popularity then you're looking at a $100 Tarn again, you're looking at a $100 Misty again, and that is not affordable in my definition. Yeah, you have the Onslaught, which also, you know, to rant on, right now would be a very good time to pick up your Onslaught Blues if you don't already have them, if, um, or if you wanna pick up some more for trade. Bait later in the future, it seems that you know, when you have some, obviously the Tarn should be stable or go up in price, but as well as the Polluted and the Flooded Strand, they will also, this is this will impact their price as well. So leave me a comment below of what you guys expect to see. Maybe am I, am I misreading the comment? Uh, what do you guys think is going to happen? Bye guys.